Well, hello, Legacy Academy parents and staff. I just want to uh, take this opportunity today to talk a little bit about internet safety and what that looks like, not only here at the building, but also at home as well. Um, here at the school, we have something called iBoss. It's a fantastic solution that is monitored and it's done by a corporation. It's a big expensive solution that keeps the internet content filtered here at school. Well, when students go home, it's a different situation. We're not all IT professionals and we're certainly not going to spend thousands of dollars a year making sure that our internet is filtered. But there are some solutions out there for you and I wanted to touch base with you about a f one of those today called OpenDNS and I'm going to just kind of demonstrate how it works. Basically, if you have about an hour and uh, you subscribe to this service which is completely free to you you can have a complete content filtering system set up in your home which will allow you to really cater and customize the level of content filtering that you might want for your you and your family so it's a very easy solution and I'm going to show it to you now so the first thing you're going to do is go to uh, opendns.com uh, this is the home page that you'll get and it's important to note that right here you'll get an IP address and that is the IP address of your um, location at home and that's an important thing to notice because this is all tied to your IP address at home and how it interacts with the rest of the world. Um, you can see right here that this network you can have a for home or a for business option we're going to select for home and we want it as a for parental controls. So this is to protect my family from inappropriate websites. And the nice thing about this service is it allows you to decide what's inappropriate. Now there are several different options here and you can decide which one is best for you and your needs. I use the OpenDNS home version myself. Um, the Family Shield is also nice because it's already pre-configured kind of for what you might need. And then there's this home VIP which will give you more information, more data. So I'm going to pretend that we're just all going to use this uh, OpenDNS Home and we're just going to go ahead and sign up now. Now this is probably the most difficult part um, is just getting the account set up, right? You have to put in your email address, you have to do a password and then they're going to send you an email to your account that you're going to have to confirm. Once you've confirmed your email address, you'll be ready to use this service. So take a couple seconds, go ahead and sign up for this service, pause the video and then start it back up and we'll uh, continue with the rest of the setup. All right, great. You should have your account all set up. They should have sent you an email. You should have probably clicked on that and verified by now your email. And it's going to get you to a screen like this. This is Open DNS Store. Don't worry, you're not buying anything. But what this is going to do is tell you how you're going to set up your DNS uh, connections on your router or your computer and there's a couple different ways to do it. For home, most of the time, you're going to want to set this up on your router. If you set it up on your router, everything that connects into your home will have this level of filtering on it. So cell phones that connect to your network, iPads that connect to your network, uh, any computer that might be connected to your network, TV devices and equipment that connect to your network, they will all have this level of filtering um, set up. If you select just a computer, it will only filter out that specific device. And you can still do that. It's a little easier to circumvent a security system like that, though. So the router is probably going to be your best bet. So if you click on the router here, it's going to give you a list of different router types that you might have. Now, don't be alarmed if your router isn't here, or it's not listed, because really the steps are the same for every router. You need to access the router's control panel which is probably the hardest part. Now I'm just going to pretend I have this Linksys set up right here. I'm just going to click on it and I'm just going to give you an idea of kind of what it is. The first step is you have to get into the wireless router or the wired routers um, control panel and this is done by typing in an HTTP address into your web browser and when it does it's going to give you a prompt that looks something like this and this is where you're going to have a username and a password that you're going to enter for your router. If it's defaulted there's a default admin um, password for every single device that's out there and you can do a quick Google search and just type in default router password for and then put your model number after it and Google will tell you what your default username and passwords are. 
However, if you've set this up to have some sort of security system in place where you didn't want anybody to access your router, and many of you might have done that, this username and password may be different. So it's whatever you have either set it to or it's the default password that came with your device. Once you've accessed this, you're going to type in these open DNS addresses into a specific set of fields. And so it'll say right here, there's a network address server settings, DHCP, and there's a DNS one and a DNS two, and that is going to be these numbers. And what this is doing essentially is rerouting your internet connection through the service so that the service can check before it allows access to the site. So it's it's kind of a, a gateway in a way that's going to double check the um, the validity of the address that somebody is trying to go to before it allows them to go to it. So once you've done this, you hit save, your router then might reboot. So it may take a little bit of time. It takes like maybe five, 10 minutes for it to do a complete reboot. Once it's rebooted, it takes an additional about three to four minutes for the account to actually start the filtering process. So you're gonna have to um, give it a little bit of a time. Um, in fact, the first time I did it, I had to sleep on it. The next morning I woke up and everything was completely filtered. Um, so here's, here's an example, for instance, as an Apple, it's a very similar setup. Your internet, you're going to those DHCP settings and then you're going to change those DNS server settings and then you're ready to go. I'm gonna pretend that my new setup is done and I'm gonna test these settings and if it says, oops, you're not using OpenDNS yet, um, you probably have done something incorrectly. And so this is a part where you would go back. I'm doing it in a different environment, so I'm not at home right now making this video, so mine is not giving me the okay. However, um, in most cases, this is pretty easy and it, and it has you actually able to go right away and it'll tell you, you're using OpenDNS. This next step is the part where you get to um, you know, go through and actually set up your settings. So you would add the network. And then in here, you can actually control your filtering levels for an IP address. So this would be the IP address of your home. And now you can actually filter the your IP address settings. So if you want high filtering, this would be uh, quite a lot of stuff. This would be adware, sites about, looks like alcohol, dating, drugs, gambling, um, along with all of the other stuff, um, you know, the, the pornography and things like that. This will filter all of that. You can also go custom and you can actually pick categories that you would like to filter. Now, the thing I like about this service is it um, really relies heavily on the community um, recommending new sites to it all the time. So it's very, very up to date on a, and pretty much on a regular basis. Um, this system is able to prevent most network, um, you know, most requests that are going to inappropriate material. Now with that being said, the one other thing that you'll have to do, which I'm gonna do in a subsequent video, is change your settings in Google. Google um, does catalog, uh, catalog images and you do have to do what's called safe searches in Google. If you set up safe searches in Google, you can get rid of the Google images problem, which is always a big problem um, for network security people. And that's because the images don't reside on any kind of bad network. They actually reside on Google's network. Well, you're not gonna probably block google.com as a uh, bad site. So this creates that, that issue where you're, um, allowing something maybe still slightly inappropriate into your building. So safe searches is the next key step that you're gonna to wanna to do. And again, I'm gonna do that in a subsequent video. Hopefully this will help you though. And OpenDNS is a fantastic tool. I think you guys will like to use it. And um, let me know how you, uh, what you think about it.